So this video is going to be a little bit different. I was looking for opponents to kind of debate on this subject for a while because I really wanted to talk about it, and that is the arbitrary distinctions between uh, the age of consent being 18 and 16, as well as the fact that there would be more consistent arguments for the age of consent being 21 through 25 than for 18. So, I've always just found 18 to be a really strange number. Now, there are a lot of reasons for the age of consent being 18 uh, in the United States. One of them mainly stems from the fact that you graduate from high school when you're 18, so, oh, you're, you're basically educated, so you should be able to fuck, I guess. But at the same time, the U.S. is super inconsistent because you can, you can drive when you're 16, and driving is probably one of the most dangerous killers of our country, and you're not allowed to drink until you're 21, so you're not responsible enough to actually consume a product until your brain is more developed. So, 18 is not even when the United States considers you responsible enough to consume a liquid. So that is something to consider when you're thinking about 18 being the age of consent, and I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with uh, why it's even worse than that. So so Clyde the Weeaboo made a tweet. It was talking about Jump. Uh, I believe Kenshiro or something was involved with a mangaka from Japan liking a 14 through 15 year old boy or some nonsense. I don't fucking know. Um, so basically, I was just like, uh, I don't think they realize the age of consent of Japan is like 13, and then Americans have one of the highest, one of the highest, I'm going to preface that, because some people really took that out of context, one of the highest age of consents on the planet of 18 for arbitrary reasons, and it's absolutely arbitrary, I'm going into more detail in a second, and while I'm not saying he's right, right for liking a 15 year old, right, or whatever the fuck, uh, there's clear cultural gaps being ignored that Americans are being outraged for. Because Americans are very inconsistent and edgy when it comes to the age of consent. They don't understand why they even want it to be 18. I'm going to display that here. So, I got someone that kind of bit. Uh, I'm not going to give his Twitter name. I'll cut it out. But basically, his, na he, his argument was, Anytime a 30-plus year old man goes after a kid, even close to 13, they should be set on fire and thrown to the wolves. I don't care what their culture is or what their laws said. Legality does not determine morality. Still evil at its core. Make pedos hate it again. Okay. Now, I agree that 30-year-old men should not be going after kids that are 13. We're on the same page there. Um, they should be set on fire and thrown to the wolves. I don't know about that. Uh, at least as long as it's consensual, maybe they should be thrown in jail, but thrown on fire might be a little extreme. <laughs> I don't care what their culture is or what their laws say. Uh, legality does not determine morality. Now, this is a big one right here because you'll realize that most people that want the age of consent to be 18 uh, will appeal to the law almost every time to determine what is moral or not. So let's see if he has any arguments to actually uh, prove that 18 is... Uh, moral, and you'll notice he doesn't actually say 18 should be the age of consent, so I kind of have to break into his position to make sure I'm not strawmanning him, so I'm like, uh, do you think 16 is pedophilia? And then, uh, a little bit of a weird red herring here, uh, do I think it's right for fully grown adults to sexually pursue children? No. I don't know how this is a response. I'm assuming this is him saying that he thinks it's pedophilia, but it's just... Obviously, I need a better, more concrete answer. Just because some countries define children differently doesn't make any any less heinous or evil. Once again, I'll lead up into why America thinking 18 as an adult is retarded. Um, and, I, and then I said, don't change the context of my question. Is 16 considered pedophilia to you? Yes or no? Absolutely. Great. So, now we get a really interesting statement. <clears throat> He wants people that are attracted to 16-year-olds to be hated, okay? And you're going to realize why this is a weird statement uh, in the future. So, why is 16 considered pedophilia, but 18 isn't? <clears throat> That's the average age at which children develop to at least a competent level of understanding and maturity. Wow, I would love to see the source for that. Not fully, of course. Not fully, of course. 
Oof, wow. Uh, but to a competent level. And just because there are exceptions, we should not... There are exceptions. We should not bend morality to fit whatever view of the world we hold. We should not bend morality to fit whatever view of the world we hold. Okay, so he's really just throwing himself in a dumpster fire. Like, if you are at all competent in argumentation, you'll realize that he just set himself up for failure really badly. Um, so I respond with, that's arbitrary then. Not a good line of mor for morality. Morality should deal with biological objectives. So, uh, by biological objectives, that we have uh, standards for when girls are fully developed, uh, physically and mentally, and we also have uh, confirmed like dates for when they're usually able to reproduce. Right. So we do have some like biological objectives that we can kind of go off of rather than this weird arbitrary line he's drawing for himself. If you're going to grandstand that the best cognition to make decisions and life choices is the trait, the age of consent should be like 21 through 25. Should be similar to the age that you're allowed to drink alcohol, right? So, and then I say facts. 16 is when girls are fully physically developed, which is true. I heard it's like 15 through 16, but whatever. 16. 21 through 25 is when girls are fully cognitively developed as well as men. As well as men, which is also important because, remember, this thread is based off of liking little boys, too. And would make the best life choices. These are the most consistent ages of consent, not 18, which is true, right? The traits between a 16 through an 18-year-old are very arbitrary, if little to none. So 21, he, he would have to grandstand that it should be 21, if not 16. That's the only way to be consistent. So... He ignored me saying facts, and then we got some people cheering me on. Thank you. Um, what about what I said was arbitrary? It's very self-evident, but whatever. I've seen you use this 25-year-old argument before. Oh, so he watches this channel. Maybe he'll watch this video. People never expect perfection or mastery of a thing before attempting it. Very strange language. We only expect competency, which is exactly what I'm arguing for. What's your position? <clears throat> We only expect competency. You could definitely argue a 16-year-old which is allowed to drive can be competent in making decisions. Um, but let's just go on with what I said. So, what? Being consistent is a joke? Yeah, obviously me saying 25 years old is way more consistent than his argument. Your argument is the equivalent to pro-abortionist arbitrarily assigning dates as to when fetuses deserve well-being instead of applying facts about cycles and individuality. You can't make a single concrete answer for 18. Total nonsense. <laughs> um, before we go on to the next one. So basically, uh, you'll whenever you talk to someone who's into pro-abortion, now I'm pro-abortion. If you want to abort your the fucking baby, I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I believe that the fetus is actually a part of the woman uh, until they're born. But uh, there's obviously different moral arguments concerning that. But when you talk to pro-abortionists who aren't very good... They'll say things like, well, I think exactly uh, 38 days is when they lose their, their value. Um, and then, like, someone who is uh, anti-abortion will just be like, okay, so why does a person who's 38% um, sentient deserve well-being, but someone who's 37% not deserve well-being? And you'll just get down, like, a rabbit hole like that. And that's kind of what he's doing here with saying it should be 18. And this is where um, I turn it around on him. So it feels like that's when they're going to go. Like, well, that feels like when they're good to go, uh, mentally. Shut the fuck up, pedophile. They aren't even fully grown. So now what I'm doing is <clears throat> the fact that he is okay with um, calling si people that are like 16-year-olds pedophiles, um, but not thinking 18-year-old is a pedophile, um, I will just grandstand that I believe it should be 21 through 25. And from my perspective and my sense of morality, he is the pedophile. So everything he's doing, I could actually more consistently argue he is a pedophile than he can argue 18 is legal. So I'm, I just start calling him a pedophile as a joke. Um, <clears throat> it is still, it still works pretty well, I guess. At this point, he kind of just shuts down, trying to decide if I want to ignore the blatant attacks on my character and changing the argument multiple times. No one changed the argument multiple times. I've been clearly on point the entire time. Because most people would recognize that and realize what a joke of a debater you are just because you know a few underhanded tactics. I don't know what underhanded tactic I used, but I think I was pretty clear the entire time. But your flamboys, blah, blah, blah. And to set the record straight, the most consistent age of consent in the world is 17 and 18. So, one year older than 16. 
Why? Why does it have to be one year older than 16? Nobody has it at 25. Just because the world is a bunch of pedophiles doesn't mean that they're right in this situation. That's all I'd have to say to that in response. I don't think anyone should boycott Jump Force, because this is what it's talking about. Don't be so edgy all the time, blah, blah, blah. Funny considering you call people pedophiles for their arbitrary beliefs, then break down when yours are exposed. Yeah, you like your 18 teenies being legal? Yeah, you like their brains being almost ripe, pedophile? It's a clearly consistent argument against you. Let's get in call. And then he says, you don't get it. You've consistently misrepresented me, attacked me, insinuated that I'm the pedo, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't understand what I'm doing, so I have to kind of clarify. Listen, I'm not actually calling you a pedophile. I don't think that. I'm saying using the logic you are employing to attack others, I could say that you are a pedophile if I granted that 21 should arbitrarily be the line instead of 18. Okay? So, <clears throat> he's not understanding that morals uh, can be relative or subjective to culture. So, for in this instance, I don't think 13 should be the age of consent in Japan. That's It's dumb. It... <laughs> If you want to be consistent, it would have to be 10 through 16. A 10, I believe, because that's when they can reproduce, and 16 because that's when they're fully developed. So it would have to be one of the other 13 is one of those arbitrary lines that makes no sense. I would never say 10, though, because I feel like, obviously, people are very gullible, susceptible, and they can be psychologically damaged at 10, and there's a lot of studies for that, so it would have to be 16 plus. Um, so yeah, 13 is not right. It's definitely wrong, but the arbitrary lines between, say, like, uh, a 16 and 18 year old just does not give this guy enough credence to call people that like 16 year olds a pedo uh, pedophile. So that's basically all I was saying here. Now this guy right here also tries to go off on me. And we're going to go off on some of his arguments as well. Let's see if we can find him real quick. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so boy, you stupid. And then he posts the age of consent in Korea, which is 20. He's basically implying that I said America has the highest age of consent, which I never did. I just said as one of the highest, because it does have one of the highest ages of consent. Um, so, 20 in Korea, 20 is good. I actually think Korea is Chad for this. I, I think 20 is a great age of consent. Now, it should be 21 through 25, but 20 is, is going places. It's much better than 18. And then obviously, one of the highest is not equal highest. Language is hard. Uh, never said America was the highest. You sure you don't need glasses? And then he posts something for the, uh, highest consent in the world at 21. By the way, it should be 21. Um, and I just said, quote me. You missed my point. What? Your only point was that I said it was the highest. Because all you said here was, boy, you stupid, posted a higher age of consent, and then said, never said America was the highest. You sure you don't need glasses? So, he has nothing going on here. If you're going to be outraged about America's age of consent, it would make more sense to channel that outrage into countries that have an even higher age of consent. No, I want a higher age of consent, if anything. 18 is retarded. And then I literally just said, he said that, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then he said, rewriting the age of consent is not going to help anyone. 18 is fine. 13 is way too young. 20 and 21 are too high because at that age, it is more likely than the person is financially independent in comparison to when they're 16. And yeah, obviously 20 is too high because they're financially independent. Uh, one of the hallmarks of adulthood is financial independence. So if the trait is financial independence, then it shouldn't be 16 or 18. In America, it should probably be like 22 or, or above because, what, because um, having a diploma in high school doesn't actually really help you that much in life at all. I think it's not until you have like a bachelor's degree that there's any noticeable change in your financial situation. Uh, you could also argue that this reduces to absurdity because at this point, if you just prove that you're financially independent, it means you can fuck. So if you had like a financially independent 13 year old somehow, maybe they have like a crazy YouTube channel or you're some kind of weird chess grandmaster like at 13 and you're making a lot of money and you could prove you're financially independent, it just leads to a lot of absurdity. So this is dumb. And I believe that uh, the biological reasons I listed before are much better. So other than that, I think that's all that needs to be said. Um, age of consent should be 16 through 21 through 25. Um, and other than that, I just want to hear you guys' opinions on it. And other than that, till next time.